Hello everybody, my name is Tokriva. Welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, episode 2 of playing the 13 colonies. We are at 22% liberty desire, so that will increase... Uh, wow, it will actually also make uh, maintaining troops and everything cheaper, as well as allowing us more troops in general. That's pretty cool. Wage loss for builders. The prices of construction are going up as skilled labor is in shortage as new colonists flowing into the colony greatly demand their services. A proposal has been put forth that a maximum wage will be set across 13 colonies for all carpenters, sawyers, masons and bricklayers. The price will be set at fair levels and everyone demanding higher payment than that or offering to pay more for construction work would be subject to penalty. How do we vote? Uh, vote yes will give us cons build costs cheaper for three years. We don't need to regulate that. Gives us administrative power. Um, yeah, I'm not making enough money to warrant going for the building stuff. So we're going to... Uh, we don't need to regulate that at all. We do not. Anyway, we can definitely reduce our military maintenance again. So we actually get money. Even though we are apparently now in the British conquest of Aztec. Yeah, uh, these guys have a slight problem over here in the Hudson's Bay Company. But um, once these rebels are actually gone and turned into uh, forces for Lavrador, their forces will diminish to a point that we can easily help them out. Anyway, ooh, caravels. Upgraded ships. Also, naval maintenance increased. Uh, 4.72 from trade. I still wonder how much more it would be if we were to change that up. Um, from pushing trade up here. So, let's let's try that. So, oh, we have converted the, almost the last heretics. Unami is the last one. So, we're going to try this. So, right now, we have... We're making 4.73. So I'm recalling this merchant. This will indeed decrease the amount of money flowing into this zone. Uh, he's still not home. So right now our income will go to... It should lower. It's lowered by 39.39 that is. Yeah, we're still at that 100 there. Uh, let's see, three, two, one, wait, he's home. Collect from trade, Frederick Amherst. So we just, now we're going hopefully up next month. Wow, it's 0 0.06 increase. That's like nothing. Yeah. We're still pulling six out of the Caribbean. The problem is, of course, the fact that we are nowhere near the major power in the Chesapeake zone. Because of British dominance, of course, they're pushing money away. Actually, they're not. How are they doing this? Even though, yeah, everyone else is transporting it out. How can Portugal have that much trade power, though? That's... Of course, the British power is added onto the Portuguese one. That's how it's being moved out as well. Tell us, end of religious turmoil, probably because um, Lavrador retook all its land. So the Hudson's Bay Company has been shrunk a bit, but they are still pretty large. They formed, I formed them as Great Britain when they had these three and these three part of it. They also do have some cores over here, of course, while Lavrador has, like, only these cores, which is also good. Um, we could spend our administrative, but I don't want to. I want to do tech. We really need to catch up in technology right now. Mm -hmm. Constables. Oh my, that's money. There's money available in constables. Let's build one in Massachusetts. Definitely. Money increases are very important for us right now. So, but yeah, the advantage is, of course, now that uh, 
He has the same guy. Oh, he is old, by the way. He might die soon. We get someone else. We get six, nine, five. We have two leaders. We have our an admiral not doing a thing. He has maneuver. No, wait, that's an explorer. Why do we have an explorer? We don't need an explorer. Go away. You're on the first fleet. Okay, so you are indeed pushing some more uh, trade power into it, which is decent. So now we get some more military power points every time again. Currently at 5 prestige, not a lot. But our admin, we should get to at the next admin tech level pretty damn soon. If arsenals, all these things I want. We got our infantry. It's just Muncie. We are at 401 they, and they are producing cotton, which is actually quite worthwhile. How many cotton provinces do we even have? We have fur in Delaware, we have grain in Kanoi, fish in Powhatan, grain in Chesapeake, concede defeat, great. Fish, Pamlico, grain, grain, cotton. Wow, we have two cotton provinces. Burst of administrative thought. Our country's thinkers, encouraged by the open-minded stance of our government, are engaged in a burst of thought in the area of administration, asking themselves the question, how can we govern better? Most excellent news. 50 power? Holy crap. I think that's an innovative uh, idea, actually. Oh, we get a decision. Agricultural cultivation. Have production efficiency. Have an actual scientist. At least two provinces doing that. Tech cost plus 2%. Production efficiency plus 5 It's not a lot that goes up with it, though. Hmm... Maximize crop output by shifting focus from small-scale farms to the establishment of large plantations. Why the hell not? Maybe it gives us some more production. And 2% tech cost is only 12 power out of the n normal amount. It went up by 0.21, which is at least something. Oh yeah, our missionary maintenance will of course drop off once we're done in Unami with uh, that thing. Are we not allied with the Hudson's Bay? Oh, because they're less than... Ah! Liberty desire not, but let us at least increase our happiness with you. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do uh, start... Or should I wait for... Uh, we only have that minus 10%, you know? Let's get the quality ideas now. So we're at least starting on those as well. And, of course, getting closer to uh, free thinkers, which is even cheaper ideas on top of it. Um, we can build a new building every uh, 10 months, I think. How ch we cannot build a constable. Not enough administrative power. So we can build a dock. Oh, Totemist Zealots will take them out. Let's build a dock in Delaware. Um... They shouldn't be that strong. I should be able to engage that with. That's actually way low morale, so don't do that yet. Let's um, up the maintenance for at least one month. What is now your max morale? 2.28. Yeah, that should be much, much better. It's mostly because of the missionary, of course. Yeah, one morale should be fine with 17 versus 6. Um... Totemists, guys. Natives. I say that and they get really good rolls because we don't have a leader, of course. Jesus. Trade dispute against Lavrador. Annoying. No. I guess we just lost that fight. Uh, cer ceremony disrupted. One of the core parts of Republic are the great ceremonies of state. This is a time where disagreements and disputes between the patricians are put on hold so we can display our unity of purpose and show the world our strength. At a recent ceremony, disgruntled Endelmans turned their backs on our traditions to air their disagreements with the ruling council. Far from ideal, lose 33 prestige. Whoa. Our prestige is quite low. What are these? Peasants in the Hudson's Bay Company. You know what? Get my army maintenance up for a bit. So we can at least have some morale. I'm gonna help them out with these peasants and then run down to my own nasties. So one was not enough. How much do we get? 
Yeah, that should be better. Let's kill these 3,000 peasants. Yes, there they go. Morale completely destroyed. At least help them a bit out, you know. We should... Oh, it's sad that we cannot see things. We can only see their territory if we're in a war together. And we're only in a war together when uh, Great Britain is at war, basically. Wait until the month is almost over and then we start to move in. That should be fine. There we go. Now this should be a lot easier to take out. It was definitely just a maintenance issue. Oh well, let's turn it down a bit again so we regain some more money. How is our trade income doing right now? 4.47. Yeah, there's just not as much being moved out here. Oh, Lavrador is also, of course, pushing uh, trade up and down the stream. Hmm. That's, of course, not interesting. Um, Waco, I think, once that settlement is done, then there should be another colonial nation forming over here. Pretty cool. So, but yeah, we only have two more places to colonize, and then we're done, unless we take out some more of these. Uh... So, who are you allied with? In the Federation with Chickasaw, which is actually behind here where we cannot see them. Same Federation as Miami. So, led by Chickasaw. And which one is Chickasaw? And they're allied to Cherokee, Miami, and Potawatomi. There are quite a few of them there, yeah. But we actually need maintenance to uh, do something about that one. Oh yeah, um, we can build a constable, and I will gladly build a constable in Connecticut. We need more, oh, Delaware is still building a dock, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, dock. What is actually our idea? Oh yeah, like our mission is to placate France. Yay, religious unity achieved. France, 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 France. Um, dynastic covert. I cannot do anything really, so might as well give up on this uh, this plan. Cancel the mission. You can come home. For now, it's not going to work out. Truce will expire. Three troops. Oh wow, that's a discovery spread. Osage, Shawnee, Fox, Miami, Shawnee, Cherokee, Choctaw, Pawnee, Huron, Iroquois, Cheyenne, Cree, lots of them. That's, oh, we are actually at war. Um, that was the sound we heard. We are at war. British conquest of Choctaw. Okay, Britain is also in this war, as is Louisiana and everyone else. Actually, the advantage is here, um, when we look at the colonial region, a part of the Choctaw is actually in our territory, so we might get that, which is nice. Um, yeah, let's up our maintenance then, because uh, we will fight here as well. So who are we at war with? As well, the Iroquois. I think we have to take out these four... Uh, from the Shawnee and then go take care of the Iroquois they are moving some troops in here Fox as well ooh that might be bad but they seem to be splitting them up so um, how far are you almost done let's wait for one more tick of a month and then move into Poatan that should be fine more morale, everything else. Actually, I want a leader for this. Even though he's crappy, it will give us a lot more bonuses if we don't have a leader. Which they did not have, apparently. Let's get to Manhattan, quickly. Still making some more money. Oh, not smooth. 
Um, oh, we cannot move through Pequot. That's annoying. And let's take care of these guys now. Shouldn't get a river crossing if we go from this place. I wonder how strong their leader is. Well, they're just native, so they're quite crappy regardless. Very nice. Um, let's take back Muncie so we can at least send our colonist back in. And there we go. Um, you go there because that chance makes it so much better if he's helping out. Yeah, that uh, Lavrador. Uh, annoying. Hey, look at that. Instant destruction. Let's start sieging up this Iroquois area. Oh my, that's actually quite a big force they have here. And Britain also has a few of them. And detach, siege, move on to the next. Shouldn't take long, these sieges. I think, how long is one siege timer? Still 28 days, though. Hmm. Oh well, this is just waiting, at least on my side of the world. Colony is at 810. It's going fine. Also, the more battles we win, the more prestige we get, of course. Um, invest in diplomatic idea. Or wait for this. Trade efficiency. Actually, that's use more useful right now. So I'm going for the tech still. And... I actually disagree with that one. 9th of May. 14th of May. Go here. Then go there. Yes, we catch this army. There they are. Did they expand here? It seems that the Iroquois have expanded this way. What if I have one sieging here and send this army around to kill stuff? So, let's see. Earth Rampart can definitely use some more of those. Oh, what? Yeah, we can't start a building there. That's the thing. Let's discover some more territory. Mm -hmm. Hello, Fox. Cities demand old rights. God, 10... No, I'd rather lose stability than more Republican tradition. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that was Truces. Um, not at war with the Miami, though, no. We've won the Siege of Mohawk. Okay, um... You run down to Poatan, you can go to Siege Oneida. We're definitely winning the war though, so... Despite the fact that that siege is going pretty damn well for them. Hmm. Ah, Muscogee. Um, hmm. I think. This is at least Tuskegee. I know now. That it's pronounced that way. They're running into Kanoi. That's actually very nice because we will engage them. Ungrateful natives in Muncie. We walk across them. We kill them. That went quick. This is a should be a closer fight. No, actually it's not. They actually have a cannon in there. Wow. Well, that was the army of the Iroquois destroyed. Completely. Here goes the army of the Shawnee. Poetan, uh, yes, very good. You actually go to Shawnee territory. Let's see what we can pull off there. Battle of Manahawk. Oh, that's there, of course. And they're going back into Muncie, bastards. Well, here's where we go then. Need to break the Iroquois. Because that's not nice of them to be running around our territory doing crap. And there we go, another thousand. Oh, the fox move in again. And you return after killing those guys. Yeah, just this is helping. Just fighting off the natives instead of sieging them is better right now because of the amount of uh, prestige we need. We lack so much prestige and we're only getting prestige from winning battles now. And, oh. They are running here, so we shall run there as well. 
So I don't really mind. Yeah, we of course have to take care of these guys if they cross into our territory. That's better. Okay, let's just go find them. More enemies. They, there is a Choctaw army. Some, there it is. Should be engageable by us at least. After Niagara. Oh, you, we cannot cross there? Okay, then we go there. Oh, it's actually here is another area not uh, discovered by anyone. We would need a conquistador to go in there. Um, a constable in Unami. What about Tomi? Um, yeah. Uh, we cannot move that way, though. Hmm. More forces are showing up. Of course they are. Oh, boy. Then we run back again. Yeah, I let the sieging continue for against the Iroquois, at least. Oh, they've defeated the army because they send a lot of forces. Oh, it's William the Fourth Henry Tudor, our uh, great leader, basically. Mahican. Okay, where are you going? Into Mohawk. Interesting. If we could get Mohawk, then we can actually, if we want to, colonize northward as well. I'm still waiting on tech. Requesting military access from us. Um, who are they at war with? Choctaw. Oh, the same. That's not the same war. No, it's a totally different war. Hmm. I'm going to decline that one. I feel that we need to help out soon down there to siege up and get more territory before the French do. So, that's where we're going to go. At least, uh, yeah, hopefully we they will take a lot out from them before the French can actually do anything about it. Uh, at least that, too bad that's not just a colony anymore. Um, sure, you can maintain relations here. You can go to Onondaga. You finish another siege. Plague! We have to do something. Or goods produced for... Th no, we have to do something about it. We really do. Mm. Fine. Let's loan. We have to loan the... Oh god, the French. Why are you here suddenly? That's not nice of them. Iroquois, concede defeat, really? That's all you're gonna take from that war? Um, really? Okay. And we take it back again. Let's send in the... Oh, he's still there, actually. Mm hmm. Yeah, full annexation requires more war score, I think. Um, well, we, we cannot even declare the peace, so only the US can declare peace for us. That's bad. Um, you aren't worth me, so go take care of them. Osage! Actually, one hell of a badass tribe. Yay, 100 people in Muncie, almost done colonizing there. Then you can go there. They are one of the worst, one, uh, one of them with the worst reputation, probably. Uh -huh. What is their capital, actually? Oh, Choctaw, of course. Uh, siege is doing well. Governor dies, let us pray. Let us hope that Great Britain send us a good replacement. 411. Okay. Um, Pass Blasphemy Act would give us. Yeah, sure. I will gladly take this one. Hmm. Battle of Manahoac again. Oh, those natives here, of course. Oh, well. Too bad the Iroquois never allowed us to go in. They, yeah, the UK. Ah, well, we got some territory, that's for sure. Crap one. This is bad, though, now that we get this splitting up. Um... 
Miami, Potawatomi. Can we declare war? Yes, we can. No causes belly, though. This is actually not that good. We do not have cores either, so we need to make cores out of these territories. And yeah. So this is annoying. They got us three territories, which is good, but they left these two available for France. Then again, we are not allowing them to move through us, so maybe they cannot get to these two and get in. Yeah, they can still get these war scores. Damn it, France. Hopefully, oh, this is bad for us. This, this is splitting us up, and that's why I need this. Um, I need to fabricate a claim on Monacan. So I can go in without with the Casas Belly, really. That's the most important part of this right now. Uh, Muncie is almost done. And we'll probably get some more. Hey, look at this. Diplomatic Tech level 16. And we are still ahead for the next one. Yes, it is that silly. Um, I feel more money is good. Hmm. But yeah, um, courthouse is also barracks. Oh, we can actually build a barracks. Merchant defects. Um, national trade income goes up for mercantilism. Yeah, well, I would rather take the mercantilism and send them back right after that, though. Hmm. That's actually quite a sizable French army. And as long as, yeah, if they don't take more territory in this zone then hopefully they will target Portugal, not us. That might be helpful. Three, two, one, there we go. Yeah, we definitely need to, ooh, we definitely need to transfer trade power here. Will take a while for him to get back there, of course. Jesus. Should make, they just stopped trading just in the middle of the sea here. Jesus, isn't that bad? Cadeau nationalism mobile. Well, that's why um, the British still have forces there, luckily. Ah, the Choctaw. Okay, you can start trading the Caribbean again. Hopefully this will push up more money. Yeah, it definitely does. Good, good, good. Better. Man's Muncie almost over. Wait, what? Colony is too far away. Really? Are you kidding me? How can this be too far away now? Seriously, it's right next to my gun. It's right next to it. Yeah, we need to take over Cherokee territory to connect our own territory together. So I'll probably go for Tuscarora next. Production stifled. Our producers become complacent as our use of Smithian economics economics led to our production techniques being so advanced. Um, yeah, because of our inflation decrease, that's actually quite high. I'd rather take the inflation right now. It's still going strong there. Muncie is almost done. How long would it take? 49 days. That's not a lot. Uh, still not that much money income. God. Why? Oh, right. Military maintenance for now. Can go down again. Two months. Yeah, I need three months for that right now. Mm. The French are still sieging up the Choctaw. They do have a quite sizable war score at this rate. <sighs> And the natives are not yet uh, enough developed. Oh, English Mexico. Another subject for the Great Britons. Hudson's Bay Company can expand back here a lot more, by the way, as well. We are at war with the Aztecs again. No idea why the Aztecs, but we are. Uh, 4.23. I can now send my um, colonist into Tuscarora for safety's sake. 
And that's it for this episode. Next time we will uh, charge into the Cherokee territories. Until then, I want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys later.